The original Loch Catch and Adelphi Distillery was built in Glasgow's Gorbals district in 1825 and operated until its final malt distillation in 1907. The name Adelphi remained dormant until 1993 when it was resurrected as the independent bottler we know today by the great-grandson of the original distillery's owner. We bought the company in January 2004 uh, and at that point it was going to be very simple selling casks of very high quality whiskey to an established marketplace that was going to be established quite rapidly. The whiskey market was getting tighter and tighter and our ability to get good quality whiskey and turn it over quickly uh, faded. So it became clear that we had everything in place. We had terrific staff, we had enthusiasm, we'd built an incredibly good market share, but we needed volume and, and therefore the, the ownership of a distillery was paramount in the next stage of our development. The building of a distillery would take Adelphi back to its roots. The next step was to undertake a feasibility study and look at potential locations. This was not something that we were able to rush. This, this great deal of time in terms of planning, checking our numbers, checking that we got everything right, and then finding the right site for the distillery was also something which was which was very complicated. The Ardnamurchan distillery is located at Glenbeg, on the southern edge of the Ardnamurchan Peninsula. Ardnamurchan is an area of outstanding natural beauty and is among the most remote and unspoiled parts of the UK mainland. We have two reasons for choosing Ardnamurchan. One is, of course, it's, uh, some of it is under the ownership uh, of the same people as Adelphi. But secondly, it is due to its remoteness it is already fairly sustainable in the way it looks at uh, heating um, and, and its water provision. The fact that we could find the best quality water, and ironically, even though it, it is Ardnamurchan and it's always wet, um, having enough water, we had to look for a river that had holding locks above it so that the quantity was consistent year round. When we were putting the brief together, it was very important for us uh, that we could fit in with our surroundings in the West Coast. It had to fit into the local architecture, and while we can use modern building materials, steel frame, etc., etc., it had to look like it was meant to be there. And all this in quite a compact uh, space, which was also uh, very important for our neighbours. The wood chip uh, facility that is already existing in our Demurkin has allowed us uh, to design the first 100% wood chip powered biomass boiler for Scotch whisky distilling. The engineering behind that is, is incredibly complex, but it is something which we are absolutely 100% behind. This distillery concept um, will allow us to take the full circle of Scottish product. So we will be growing all our own barley in Scotland. Uh, certainly for the first few years, we would like to concentrate that to the farm where we do all our bottling currently uh, in, in West Fife. That barley will then travel up to our Nemerkin uh, to be malted in our own maltings. The whole process allows us to uh, produce the whiskey on site, but also to use the draft uh, from the mash tun to feed the beasts of our Nemerkin, uh, the deer, uh, the cows, even the sheep, and we can use the pot ale to fertilise the fields uh, where necessary. So this full circle is incredibly important to the brand and something that we would like to promote uh, and hopefully encourage other distilleries to do. The construction of the distillery took place between February 2013 and June 2014. The build involved engineers, technicians and skilled workers from across the UK and beyond. The remoteness of Ardnamurchan presented us with unique challenges, both for the equipment delivery and for the contractors involved in the build. Access to the peninsula involves a short ferry crossing and negotiating single track roads. These roads must be some of the most tortuous and narrow and yet spectacular roads uh, anywhere in Scotland. We 
discovered that the narrowest point of the single track road, which leads up to the distillery, uh, was just 3.3 metres wide. And as funny as it may seem now, our distillery is designed to that maximum width. So the largest piece of equipment in the distillery, which is the two-ton mash, is no wider than 3.3 metres. We've had uh, some narrow bridges following the convoy that brought the stills in um, and watching the skill of the, uh, the lorry driver was quite incredible. The construction team survived the weather, the remote location and the midges to complete on schedule and allow production to begin in June 2014. You start with the style of whiskey and then you work backwards to try and establish how you're going to get that style. We have four wooden washbacks and three stainless steel. The wooden washbacks are unique to us because they're made of oak. We're the only distillery in Scotland to use oak washbacks. They're going to have a very long life. The Portuguese coopers who installed them for us expect them to outlast the distillery building. We have a fairly long fermentation time. This combined with the clarity of the wort and a specific type of yeast that we use gives us the fruity characteristics in the wash that we're looking for. The Ardnamurkin distillery will produce two distinct styles of single malt whisky one peated and one unpeated, matured in ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks. We are producing both an unpeated and a peated style of spirit. In both cases we get lovely fruitiness, a mouth-filling texture and a unique honey-peppery character. We also want the spirit to marry well with the wood of the very carefully selected casks which we get from America and Spain. The West Coast of Scotland is one of the best places, if not the best place in the whole world for long-term maturation. And the reason for this is that the temperature and the humidity is very stable. And this is good for two reasons. Firstly, as the alcohol drops, certainly below about 50, we tend to see quite a remarkable change in the character uh, of the whiskey. It becomes much more fruity and, and being a natural process, this is the best way of doing it. We built a very traditional Dunwich warehouse here on site. It's actually split into separate floors. On the ground level, all casks are stored on a soil floor. And these are perfect conditions for long-term maturation. On the upper level, the casks are stored on a concrete floor. The temperature is higher, which creates a dry atmosphere, which gives us a faster maturation. A good cask policy is very important and we invest heavily in the best wood available. We're sourcing barrels from Kentucky and Tennessee and also egg sherry casks from Spain. The American barrels give us flavors such as vanilla, coconut, creme brulee, while the egg sherry casks give us fruity notes, spiciness and a good tannin structure. We're going to be very important within the community and that's something we take very seriously. Um, but we do hope to provide a significant number of good, well-paid, long-term jobs which I think everybody should, should, should warmly embrace. The new distillery can only strengthen the identity that Arden American has already. There'll be a positive knock-on effect for all the businesses around Arden American which has been getting stronger over the last few years. We're going to get people that would have never come to Arden American, so they're you know, experiencing Arden American for the first time and hopefully they'll continue to return in the future. It's quite a responsibility that we've handed ourselves um, and there's a great deal of hard work and commitment needed to make sure this turns out to be successful for ourselves uh, and everybody involved. But I'm very confident we can do that. Just the other day, I found my original single sheet of A4 notes from the meeting when we conceived uh, our distillery. 
in 2007 at Glenborodale Castle. And amazingly, as I was reading through, we have stuck to every single point as best we could. And, and it wasn't because these were constantly in front of us. It was because we felt very strongly about each of them. Adelphi's Ardnamurkin Distillery aims to become one of the foremost producers of quality Scotch malt whisky by blending traditional methods with environmentally responsible techniques.